يا إلهي كم عمر هذا السائق وكم عمر هذه السيارة لم أصدق عيني عندما جلست بجانبه فإن عدد الكرمشات في وجهه بعدد نجوم السماء تضغط كل كربشة على الأخرى وتصنع وجها مصريا صنعه مختار أما يداه اللتان تضغطان على المقود فإنهما تتمددان وتنكمشان عبر شرينهما البارزة وكأن شرايين النيل تغذي الأرض اليابسة My name is Khalid Al Khamisi and I'm a writer, novelist, and I come from Egypt, from Cairo. For me, the, the, the case is very simple. I discovered during my life, this is the only thing I can do, writing. I tried many things related to culture. I uh, had a publishing house, uh, I produced for television, documentary, but finally I was unhappy during all my life. And when I began to write, I catch happiness finally. Then for me, it's, it's, it's really not about what I, uh, what is the benefits of it. It was like a must. Uh, in Egypt, what I can say that it, being a writer, it's a social responsibility because, you know, Egypt is a poor country. We have a big percentage of illiterate, uh, very bad uh, economical, financial, cultural uh, situation that being uh, uh, a writer is being also someone who, ha who try to make a change, a social change. The worst to be a writer in Egypt is the ambiguity of the relation with the government, with the system, with the regime. Uh, you have a very tense relation between writers and the, the regime because for a very simple reason that uh, governments in Egypt were dictatorships and writers want freedom and this relation is always very difficult. We, ha we had a, an important project during 20 years under the Ministry of Culture of Farouk Hosni. He tried what we say, put the chicks into the check nest, nest then transform writers, novelists to chicks and tame them and taming chicks is a duty for the government and then how to the, how they can put these chicks to the nest into the nest naturally it's at the government nest and we have this then tense relation with the government and this is the worst i think Egypt is an extremely interesting country, not being chauvinist at all, but it is one of the oldest country in this uh, planet. And uh, it's an open museum everywhere. And because it's a very old civilization, the civilization is built on good weather. And we know the weather every day. We have no surprises at all. I can tell you without knowing. I can, if you give me the date, the month, I can tell you exactly the weather. And we don't have any possibility of surprises. Uh, and because of this, we ha and we have the Nile. It continued to flow from the south to the north thousand years ago. And everything is there, we know it. And the, the weather is really good during all the year. Then it is an, a very interesting country to, to see, to visit, 
and to contemplate the history, the archaeology, the monuments. And what is really interesting today is this effort that any visitor can has to do to uh, put away the ugliness everywhere. Because under the ugliness, we have an extreme beauty. But all the beauty is completely and 100% covered by very thick ugliness. And this is a very interesting job that any visitor, and unfortunately, many Egyptians do the same job every day. And many of my generation is seeing what they knew 30 years ago, and they are forbid their eyes to see the reality of today. Writing is totally related to, uh, to creation, to innovation, to new ideas, to new horizons. Uh, I'm a person who, has, during all his life, has his feet, my feet, is not at all on the earth. And I had a real problem de dealing with everyone because, unfortunately, many people have their feet in the floor and uh, they don't understand me and I don't understand them and have a miscommunication of every day, even with very close uh, people to me. They are asking every day, where are you? And reply, I am in, the, in a cloud, and this clouds change every minute, it's really hard. Then dealing with, with writing and dealing with writers, uh, it's really interesting to see people like me, they are not really on earth. And this is the most interesting thing for me, being a writer and visiting and uh, going to festival with many writers. And uh, if, if I discovered uh, my world during discovering writing. Writing also is very, the process of writing is extremely interesting for me because it is related also to research. And I, I'm a person who loves research. And uh, this is really a, a hobby during all my life. I'm a person who is interested to anything for nothing. Then I can be really, really interested for knowing plenty of information about something I will not ever use during all my life. This is, it can be really stupid. Why making all this effort for nothing, I have no idea. For me, it's, it, it was always like that, and I'm happy with that. I don't want to stop trying to know other things. In Egypt, during the 20th century, 99% of the writers were totally engaged socially and politically. Then, if you spoke about any novelist during the 20th century, I can tell you his political point of view, political engagement. And it, it is something, I have no idea it is related to Egypt or not, I don't think so, but I think it is related to uh, countries in crisis. And uh, it, I, I don't think it was the case, for example, uh, during uh, the 9th century, for example, where uh, we were a, a very, uh, uh, not, a, not rich, but in a good situation, financially, economically, politically, etc. Today, the case is that. And being in a family of writers, for me, it's something very logic that I am engaged socially. Today, in the last maybe 10 years, we have new generation of writers, 
not so much engaged politically and socially. It's a new generation, new horizons by people, by novelists that are not really engaged politically. Literature has to be support, supported. H historically, during all the history, art generally ha was supported by some kings, some princes, and it was like that because we have to think about how these artists can live, can survive. And for this, we have to make uh, a cycle, uh, an economical and financial cycle, that this cycle can support the production of culture. Literature is finally, it's a book for readers, and it is a product, finally. Uh, this cycle has to be there. Broken the cycle is a catastrophe to the culture. In my opinion, what we have to do is we have to think how people can be the main support of art and for culture and for literature not the governments, but people. I think the role of the, of the state is to make rules, to make laws. And these laws has to be logic laws. For example, in France, we have this important uh, law that they have, they, they, this law had, the book has to have one price, only one price. And this one price is everywhere. It is in a very small bookstore, in a very big bookstore, it's not important. And this support the very small bookstores in villages and small cities and the big cities. In England, for example, they didn't do this. And the bookstores are in real difficult. This is one example to make laws. We need laws by the governments, but I think we don't need support. We need laws that, that can help, help people support literature, citizens. My family is a family of writers, novel that I, I was born in, in the books, in the novels. Uh, every, this, it was really the bread of every day, the talks on literature. I, I began to, to read literature very, uh, not, not read, but here, at age of maybe two or three, and then I began to read. For me, the, 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 the writer, the novelist who hit me a lot in my heart, in my soul, I don't be, believe at all that we have a soul, but uh, between brackets, uh, the, he, Fyodor Dostoevsky. When I read Dostoevsky, I think that I can be this writer. I can, re I can write exactly these things. Naturally, uh, he's much better than me, but uh, this is what, what I feel. Any book of him, I feel that it is as m me who wrote this book. And I love all his, all his books. One specifically, it's uh, Crime and Punishment. This is a, a real psychological uh, treatment he, he reach a very depth analysis on the psychology of human being. I'm working on a novel. I, I, before I came here in Iowa City, I, I wrote approximately 30% of this novel. Then I, I continue the novel. I can't say at all that uh, being here influenced my writing. This is uh, too much to say. But uh, what, I, what I can say very uh, clearly, that the contact with all the writers, novelists, poets, they were here, it was very enriching uh, my horizons. And it was very interesting, all my discussions and communications with all of them, plus naturally the people from here. And 
I'm sure that this communication, it, it will be extremely interesting to my open, more open my horizons uh, the next uh, months and years of my life. It was really important period and I'm really happy about it. You know, it's very difficult always for a novelist to speak about something in process. What I can say that uh, I have a title, I, I, I don't think that I will change it, is Ard al Ayel, the land of the kids. And it's about uh, the kids are going out of the city because they are threatened and they have a place for them. And it's about this place and about the kids. Final thought that uh, what I want to say here that many people here are saying a lot about the country, Egypt, Mauritius, Nigeria, etc., Korea. And I don't think at all that nationality mean anything. I spoke at, about Egypt because uh, I was always asked to speak about Egypt, but I can speak about any country. I don't think really that identity exists, and I don't think really that this concept has any meaning at all. And I can be very simply closer to an American, for example, to my brother. It has nothing to do with nationality, neither to religion, language, all these things. We are extremely similar as a human being and at the same moment we are totally different because I am different than two years ago and I'm totally different than 20 years ago and, and when I will leave you now I will, not, I will not know exactly to go left or right, I will be in a conflict. Then the conflict is very normal between the, the human being and himself and I want to say this is my final word for you. Thank you very much.